what distinguishes these geometries, and they're called sacred geometries for a reason. There are only five of them in the, in the known universe. And uh, sometimes they replicate themselves in nature as well. Here we have the earth element, uh, and this is the, the hexahedron, and it's a square. And um, this is the most uh, uh, material, I would say, of all of the platonic solids. This is the most grounded, so to speak, and it, it is the earth, earth element. And you'll notice that um, it's shaped just like a, a, a cube of salt. The salt is a crystalline structure. And it's when you, you hear the term salt of the earth, you're talking about somebody that's very grounded and, and, uh, and very connected to the earth, so to speak. degrees has a, a direct correlation, a one-to-one -one correlation with 60 hertz. So now hertz is a, uh, it's a frequency, it's a cycle per second. And that cycle per second, I can, I can let you hear it. It's, it's a B, okay, it's this note right here. Anytime you have a single tone, and, and uh, again, I'll just play, play this, this note right here. It's the F sharp. new standard, I would say, is 432. And there's really good cosmic equivalence and good reason for that. Um, and the platonic solids are mapped to those larger cosmic flows and phenomenon, as well as the smaller uh, uh, tones and frequencies of, of music. Uh, to me, it, it's, it's mind blowing as, as a musician to actually come after 50 years of studying music to these very, very simple concepts, you know. Uh, the, the number of fr frequencies in the platonic solids is only a, a very small amount, but you can map that out uh, to all the notes. the really good uses of frequency is to, to wake people up, to actually activate the light codes. We have, um, we have two, maybe three strands of DNA that are active at, at this point in time. And we really should have 12 at least on up. And so we're in the process of really waking up. And uh, that means waking up each one of the filaments of those DNA. My mission, which I really am 
on fire about right now is to actually share that with humanity in, in whatever way I can to get those frequencies out there, whether it be performing and playing or just uh, sharing the information about what they are so people can do with it what they want to. Uh, but I, I really feel like we have to get away from the old constrictive um, uh, uses of music and, and sound to keep keep us really entrained to a very, very base vibration uh, and then expand out with, with, the, with the more cosmic uh, frequencies of, of these solids. <laughs> 